Okay, let's check the next part of the arc of story. I guess this will be, be more interesting than the other two new quests. So we'll check the, this first. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? Who's asking? Do you need something from us? You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another outlander. Mm. He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. to us unless we happen to go to the post office on whim. Does not get real office as mail for us. Um, what address did that person give you anyway? Uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. <laughs> what? So the address is Paimon? Yeah, exactly, right? And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Okay, well, let's see this letter. This letter, I'm really curious who could have sent it. Well, it's another outsider. Of course, here it is. All yours. Come on! Hyma wants to have a look, too! Uh, oh. Uh... It's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Sumero. And I happen to be in Port Ormos on official business. Lately, I've been stopping by Jaffar Tavern for a drink or two every afternoon. If luck's on my side, this letter successfully reaches you. Come to me and then we can catch up on old times. We'll see as a faded encounter. Um, your first buddy, Kaya. Uh, there was events. Most that recently wasn't there. Kaya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Crafty does describe him pretty well. Eh, I can't say I'm hugely surprised. This is definitely Kaya's style. From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. Hmm. Or maybe he's just being sneaky. <sighs> Think he's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? Very scheming indeed. Oh, no harm done. You have nice catch up with him. Eh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? This was a first for me. It's a good thing luck was on my side. Yeah, but he's kind of in a weird place for me to, by chance, meet him. He should be closer to the center. Oh. What?
I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh? Well then, just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon, traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> if you say so. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Dean? <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Uh -huh. Very believable. The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. So if he's Sumeru's spices are brother. famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the Knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. And? How did that go? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. With a nice yeah, deal of that traits. does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master Diluc are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> Guessing you've been to Sumer before. Oh? What makes you say that? You came to Sumer all on your own, so you must be quite familiar with the place. Well, we came on our own. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. And? Do continue. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Don't worry, buddy. You don't have to go into great detail. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. Um, yeah. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo, and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Speaking of Kenya, how much do you know about it? Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. A happy life sounds good to me, of course, even if it means being cut off from... certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Albrich, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Alberich? D Dainsworth? 
Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken? You just said his So name. you remember me? Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Albery, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Huh? The Abyss Order? What? The founder. I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. Uh, well, all right then. You go do your thing, Kaya. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. So I say that an Alberich found it. The Absorber. I thought my sibling was the father. Well, I suspect that they call your sister their princess, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if she was the founder, she'd be the queen, right? So, what are you planning to do here, Smurl? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Hmm. Do you remember that name? Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. You got a new lead? Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your sister. She mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. Shouldn't he keep a diary, since he has bad memory? And several hundred years? On the way back then? Uh, so... There was already things several sinkers Apparently ago. so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that she mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in Avidya Forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! No. Now is not the time. Are you concerned about the Abyss Order? Are you waiting for the perfect moment? No, it's just... I'm still waiting for my drink. <laughs> Seriously? Is there anything in the stream? You prepare to travel to Avidia Forest. Yeah. When he came all the way here, he was intentionally trying to meet us. I guess from here. 
maybe it's under problem. I don't know. Wait, this place, it's familiar. What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago, too? Yes, the forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. Let's search the area and see what we can find. since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait, we're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. Investigate carefully. We mustn't miss a single detail. This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. It's basically like that nurse place. Over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. Uh, what in the world's going through your head? You sure are going places with your part line. Huh? This is hmm. a mirror. It's broken too. Was this a makeup box? Mm, it's just a regular mirror. Hmm. It's cute. That's kind of disappointing. Paima was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane talked this place up. Hey, look! It's a bowl! Guess whoever used to live here liked to cook, huh? Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. Oh, so it's a medicine ball? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth our attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. Noises? Is it... It's not much. Just some minor adversaries.
Monsters? Wow, Dane's ears are sharp, just like his nose. He's in surprisingly good shape for a five hundred year old. Mm. Although for someone who's as full of surprises as Dane, it's hardly a big deal. Anyway, let's beat up these monsters. Time to go. This is order. Solidify. Wind strider. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Uh, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Oh. There could be some fire in the back. What's our objective? You and Pamela make a fire, Infernoid, Night Setsy. <sighs> Your cooking is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> well, freeloading comes more naturally to you than most. Changing the subject. Dane's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Baima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Um, so... Don't take this the wrong way or anything, but... Uh... Do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? Yeah. You make my day every day, Paimon. Not really. You're better than nothing, I guess. <sighs> okay, fine. Paimon should have known you weren't going to say anything nice. Hmm. So, um, next question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your sister? I don't know. I didn't play when they were traveling together. The stars? We gazed at stars just like this. And we pointed the planets we wanted to visit. The planets? Weren't they traveling like between dimensions? Or they were just traveling in the same universe? Wow! Uh, you would travel through the universe, always by each other's side. Wait, it wasn't the beginning. They're coming from another universe. So now he's saying they were always the same universe. Or is that a mistranslation? It's all a manner of open spur. And how did you travel? How did you get that power? And this is the first time we've ever been separated. If nothing else, I just want to know what happened. Yeah! Hyman understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why, it's just terrible. But we'll find the truth together. 
Sure is Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. Uh, just wait, Heavenly Principles. I don't... I, I sing the wiki and stuff, but... I don't remember they actually calling that goddess the Heavenly Principles in the game. Uh, you know what? We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead, because if you're sad, my mom will be too. Don't worry about it. All right, all right. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? My mom will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. Oh, this is the first. My mom not going to bed before me. Oh, come on! Don't say that! My mom just wants to look after you for once. Good night, then. Nighty night! Go on, shoo! Off to sleep! Memories of her siblings fill your mind as you fall soundly asleep. Hey, time to wake up. The sun has risen. From the sun effect, I thought that would be a domain in my dreams. Thing. What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? All right. Rest here a bit longer then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Should I be up during the second watch? Uh, why are we going back into the forest? <sighs> Where's Pyro? Uh, and he go. Uh, how do I sleep till morning? Why do you time wake me up to switch shifts in a moment? Where is Pyma anyway? Uh, I vaguely remember then coming over the Pyma go into the woods with him, seeing how I hadn't woken up yet. Whatever the case, looks like it's just me here for now. Yes, time to stretch my limbs and have a look around. Better. Wait, did the noise come from inside the house? Paimon, is that you? Paimon, this isn't time for hiding sick. No reply. I should go inside and check. Oh! Uh, you are currently in special story mode. You will be able to continue it if you leave. Do you wish to leave? No, I just wanted to press the pause and check Paimo, but she's here. Okay. Halt! What do you think you're doing? Intimidating, man. I don't think so. You startled me. This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. just calm down. I want to look for my traveling companion. Your travel companion? You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> so you were spying on us. Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. I uh, thought so. Still, I don't know if I can trust this person's word just yet. So, you mean to say that you were nearby last night? What business is that of yours, hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first, and what I do here is none of your concern. This sounds suspicious. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave! There's something strange about this person, and you find out what he's hiding. Well, what are you waiting for? 
I don't think I'll have much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. I think I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. <laughs> I've oh, yeah, been observing you, and you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. Still, I'm warning you, no funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. <laughs> I'm not really, nor will I pretend to be a saint. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. May I join you? Ew. I was out here all night. I'm cold. Why didn't they sleep inside? You... <sighs> oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? Mm -hmm. Relax, I've been around. It picks a lot to face me. Come on, then. Oh. Hmm. He wasn't here yesterday. Okay, sure. Why do you keep... A huge true weapon. Mind your own business. And don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. You're from Caria, aren't you? Huh? You know Conria? Who are you? Exactly. And how do you know I'm from Conria? I'm just trying. I met others from Conria. But your eyes. It's like this. <sighs> do you worship a god, traveler? I follow no god. In fact, I can summon them as my foes. No. No, only single one. No, okay, I said that it's a uh, is my foe, but I've never actually met her. I can't summon them as my friends. Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> All right, well, uh, um, my name is Ida, and you are correct. I was once Conrian. Uh, oh, I, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. All of the people from Sevenomia don't worship one of seven. That sounds a little too black and white. Spoken like a true kind. Yeah. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this? What is the curse of immortality exactly? Think that it. That's how you've survived so long. Hey, is Kaya immortal too? The curse. <laughs> it was a little gift given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. We lost our home, our loved ones. Everything! The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear, but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies 
decay. Oh, I it's just uh, just like tame someone who bears the curse of mortality. So why did some people turn in heal truths while you were afflicted by this curse instead? Because although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. When the Cataclysm came, we pure-blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished uh -huh. with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, <laughs> turning them into monsters. So, who's this little to you? He is Kari Bear. Oh. My illegitimate son. <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> can say that out loud with no consequence now, but oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. Then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but... That mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. After all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. What happened to his mother? She was. <sighs> we were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. Sorry, I know this was a great pain. Hmm. It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains I see with new clarity. If nothing else, at least I still have Curry Bear. Mm, what do you plan to do now? We're playing to do around here? Ah, oh, yeah, yes, I, uh, that reminds me. I <laughs> I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me. I thought he if, just if you're uh, Bear so here. inclined. I came here yesterday. That's a bit weird. Is this part Over of here? The uh, a crafting range. What are you going to use this for? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Karibear here to Sumeru. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. One which will help him to recover his. Clarity of mind. Over his clarity of mind. When we were in the chasm, they said that the curse could not be undone. Is recovery really possible? I do not hope to break the curse. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. 
It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> I believe that it might just work. <laughs> Where did you hear this? I read about it in a book. <laughs> From the Royal Library of Conria. It was banned. <laughs> I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the Seven to work. In my youth, I, I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. You know, there must be a reason it was banned. Sounds dangerous. <sighs> <laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do, huh? The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? All right, don't get you worked it up. I understand no matter what, you have to try. Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> yeah. As it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Oh, oh thanks to this curse of immortality! Hmm. Okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. Hmm. Really? Okay. A mushroom. I've never seen a mushroom of this kind before. Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? <laughs> I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. Yeah, I have. I picked some for oh, yes. Wonderful! Oh, in, in that case, we have everything we need. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Hmm. Without your help, oh, goodness knows how long this would take me. Thank you. Oh, like okay, mm, nameless the boom medicine of the royal court. Strange mushroom. Okay, mushrooms really grow in a field like this. Ah, so he picked that from here. Is it done? <gasps> Splendid! Let me see! Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> the banned book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> well, the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Mm. Excuse me? Is it time to give carpet the medicine? No, no! We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. <laughs> Which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Ouch, that can be used for some more from Carrier. Uh, since he needs the God of Wisdom's power, should I get Nahida to help? Forget it. Either hates the gods, it will complicate things. I'll just do it his way. Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. Time to go. This 
statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom, look at me. I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home, wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he, here I stand before you. you. You cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom, I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and an unfortunate soul. My son, Carabere, he was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate for a child. <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I bow to you now. <laughs> I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere to see this world once more. Please, God! I beg of you. I may not know the whole truth behind Cataclysm, but the people of Caria have a true suffered. Why could Caria in the Seven Dark Places in peace? <laughs> I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. Things will get better. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, I was going to say. truth seems almost lifeless. Its reactions to everything are incredibly weak. Well, uh, we've prepared the medicine. We might as well try it. With your help, I defeat the newly made medicine. Kari Bear, it's me. It's your father. Kari Bear. Anything? Kari Bear, please say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Kari Bear? Where are you making the I know. Now? You're awake now. Do you not Thanks. want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Kari Bear. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything. Please. Please. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, gods above, what more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it! But you won't even let me die! <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just eluding myself. 
The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Well, now, I, there may be other reasons they didn't work. Ah, other reasons. What do you mean? Such as, who knows, perhaps the dosage was too low. Or maybe it takes a full course of treatment. Huh. You, uh, you really think so? You had to exhaust all the options. Unless you're ready to give up on Carbear. Give up? No, no, n never! And yes, you're right. I, I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. Even if I must stay here with him for 50 years, a hundred, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. I'll keep helping you. Uh, you have infinite time, yet no hope. You can only be called torture. Hmm. Let's go. We'll make another dose. <laughs> The most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things complicated, <laughs> but not impossible. Where to get those mushrooms from, anyway? I grow them <laughs> in that field. Wait, in the field? Like a crop? The details don't matter, right? <laughs> Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. <laughs> if you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. I... There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. <laughs> okay. I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. Good. Then and please head over when the time comes. Hmm. The perspective for now is sure. Let's run over. Please fetch the water. I'll be waiting here. It's true in the afternoon already, and never mind. Paimon's missing. Thing left. Time to go. You're back. Uh, Cara Bear's condition is stable. By which I mean he still isn't responding. Anyway, give me the water. Does he have to drink? And eat? I need to carefully water this field. I need you to stand guard here for uh, a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Of course, your secret safe with me. Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. You're waiting in the field for I to return after a while. Oh. Monsters, and so many of them. Looks like they're coming for this field. This water in the field somehow will turn to monsters. I better send them up. Fallen <laughs> leaves adorn my <laughs> bird. <laughs> Wind strider. Tip. 
beckon. Ah. Wind strike. Don't be scared. Not now. What happened? Was it monsters? Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> Oh, yes, uh, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so <laughs> let's get on with it. Thanks for this fertilizer. Evenly for long, the meta energy thing starts. To Next, we pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. <laughs> yeah, how long will this take? Statue. Hmm. I the medicines ready. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and never wake up again. Uh, for the oh the curse that denies you even this you still have car card <laughs> I do indeed that's why it was just a f fleeting thought thank you for your help once again and now for the final step back to the statue of the seven Come on, time to go stop that. We're here. Let's begin. Oh. Wait a moment. Hey, what was that? Kari Bear? Oh, he left his house. Oh no, he must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice. Come on, we have to catch up with him. That's... Uh, that's not Cory Bear. No, it's not. There's no silk scarf around his arm. I didn't even notice. Ah, right. And Cory Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a marker of sorts. My... my eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> This decrepit body of mine. Still, oh. this really sure this song is strange about it. Ah, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Where could it be going? Let's go have a look. Yes. <laughs> the more we know about hilly churls, the better. <laughs> Ah, I can't open the map. Oh. Did it go in here? Hmm, well, uh, let's head in. 
Oh no, that's right. That's the domain. I've been in this cave sometimes. What a ghastly place. Has it always existed? I, I swear I've never noticed it before. Look, what are they, those features, though? Huh. It looks like they're uh, worshipping. <laughs> sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Oh, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, in here, in this creepy scene, it's eerie familiar. Oh, sorry. I probably shouldn't have. Some good scene or something, so it doesn't... Damn. I shouldn't have to leave. I don't know how much time I'll have to go through again. Yeah. The chasm. Okay, I'm back outside. Okay, I didn't lose much. I was afraid we would come back to the start of that. Um the whole section called Primal. What a ghastly pla Huh. It looks like they're uh, I've never oh. Okay. Time to go. Let's see. There's still a chance they might attack me. But now I won't bother them. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Those three are then next to Come on, two. Oh, I had to wait because I think I, I wasn't really moving. Is this a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? No, I think I was the one that activated that. Not the big truth. We can't see them from here.
Wind Strider. My guiding stars. Ha! Chip, chop, chip. Cascade. Chip, chip, chip. Chip. The night is cold. Ha! Chip, chip, chop. Time to go. Yeah. Mm, it would be nice if I could keep walking. Clouds high. The birds come. Stars shine for me. Wind strider. So. Right. What? You guys angry now? Why? Oh. How did I get on the ceiling? Oh. Did the room turn upside down? Or gravity itself? Hmm. The finishers could be there still. It seems like I need to find a place to insert the rune. Oh. oh okay, so <laughs> this was the... Where I had to go, actually. Time to go! <laughs> oh, okay, I wouldn't be able to show you there. If the traveler is talking to himself now, why was he only thinking all those times recently instead of actually talking? Time to go! the other one that I couldn't. Oh. Halt, humans! 
Fate has not granted you the right to enter this place. Am I considered human, even though I'm not from this world? An Abs Herald? No, he doesn't look like some of an Abs Burden. No. <sighs> Do you insist on an audience? Very well. Then I grant you the trial of destiny. Wow. Desolation! Oh, nice that I... Retribution! I've seen similar characters before. He was a perfect being. I'm in awe. Well, I defeated him, so I am more perfect. He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh, truly mesmerizing. And yet, you were able to defeat him. Oh, your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> You've had unconventional tastes. I just saw lots of combat experience. Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second and more excited. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, that's the entrance where we started. Oh, okay, so if we need it, I could have changed here. Okay, I want my shield back. I think we've made it to the end. What is the thing? Oh, wrapped in chains, hanging in the air, emanating a sister aura. There's no mistaking it. It's just like the Defile statue. So, it does have its own 
That's a song to look the abyss order and this worshipping hitchers remain remind me a little too much of the green teeth. Oh okay, I, I forgot about this guy. Uh I need to place venues. We got to go. <sighs> I Oh dear creature. Oh. Why do you bow down? For fear of the unknown? For a power that you covet. Is that Kaya's dad? Uh, what's what is this? Is that? It must be coming from right inside my head. Can I hear it? Oh, dear creature, why do you bow down? For I am no god, I am but a sinner. Sinner? You are like a flower, born in sin, yet pure, spotless. I know your fate well. You need no longer hold back your resentment, nor accept the countless lies. Go forth, become a transcendent one. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. And I shall shed a tear at the end of time, as I gaze back upon your life. Who in the world are you? What do this word means? The voice is gone? Oh. Oh, what's gonna be of Care Bears? I ain't. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> when I saw that thing, my my heart was instantly at peace. I I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. Are you alright now? I am. I feel good. In fact, I, I I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar. Sounds not right about this place. We need to get out of here. Oh, uh, uh, is that so? All right, as you wish. Look at the almost came. Return to this house. Bear. Oh, thank goodness! He's still okay! Those two have need to go to the station of the seven. I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. For this to happen, right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a statue of the seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. You... you say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might be just as effective. That sounds like a ridiculous idea, but if you insist... Well, I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I... I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> there are those other medicines that me search of the future. Huh. Bear. <laughs> What, did we remove his mask? Papa? Oh, Bear! Oh, my goodness, it worked! It's a miracle! Oh, oh Kari Bear, my dear son! I'm stunned. You see? It worked! Kari Bear can speak again! Uh, where's... Mama? Mama is... Uh, Cory Bear, look at me. Do you know who I am? You call me Papa. Of course. You're Papa. 
<laughs> salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes, yes, this is... this is what this feeling is. How, how do you feel, Cory Bear? Are you fully awake now? Yes. It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Uh, wait. Uh, my body! What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? Papa? What's happened to me? Uh, uh, don't panic, son. It's just... While you were sleeping, we, we went into a fairy tale world. There, there's no more Conry uh, here. Um, no more home. But, 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 do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more end of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay with Papa forever. Am I dead? No, 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 of course not. Look, Cory Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Really? Yes, really. You've all only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Oh, oh, and, um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Understand? See? Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Uh, just a beak. Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. But I sent up for a while, and since you changed me. Not since that day have I been so... Glad as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. Don't really choose eat. They are always packing meat and hunting boars. Don't they need to remove the best to eat? It's unbelievable. <laughs> I knew that placing my hope in the seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I I even worshipped at one of their statues like a like a common fool. <laughs> Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. But the god we saw in that cave, oh, now that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. That wondrous power it was truly enchanting I... <laughs> surely that that must have been the reason i bowed down hmm. now then after one beseeches a god and the god responds by answering their prayers should they uh mm, do something to show their devotion Piety is hardly my area of expertise. <laughs> but surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. Right, there was not a god, there was a sinner. But that's kind of fake as well. A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You, you don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? You, you and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Never! He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, preposterous! No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will. You cannot shake my faith. I am going to pay my respects with or without you. Fine, go ahead. Ed's experience has deeply affected him. Not that he was particularly stable to begin with, but this religious faith 
fervor is something else. Yeah, he went from despise the seven to having a brand new god really fast. I guess I better catch up with him anyway. There are monsters everywhere. I can't stand by and let him fall into their hands. And we're just going to leave the frightening hill through here. Time to go. Hey. Do you live in the fairy tale world as well? My name's Kari Bear. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it would be horrible to kill more Haley Shirts. I don't think it's safe to leave him there. <laughs> it's been a whole day with a time off. Push me away. Time to go. Change to. Oh, I hope I won't face another one. Don't be scared. Order guide you. Time to go. What happened? It's gone, but it was right here. The hilly churl worshippers have disappeared too. Oh, yeah. well, was it all an illusion? That seems unlikely. We couldn't have both seen the exact same illusion. That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body it was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream <laughs> it was a wonder yes a divine wonder let's go traveler there is surely a reason for its disappearance and i do believe that someday in the future we shall see it again you're turning to salt let's just get back could he really have been a sinner and not a god? You take Idy, who seems to be in a train, back to the small house. Why did I came out over here just to go back there? You couldn't fast travel like that. And it's another plot point that Paimon doesn't know about. Kari Bear? Where yeah. has he gone? We shouldn't have left him alone. He's not in here. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? No. 
No, it can't have been that. There's there's no sign of a break-in and, and no it's sign of anyone needs. having been here. Maybe he ran off? This does not one. bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or an adventurer in his current state that he'd... Then we had to find him first. There's no time to lose. <gasps> Wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The... Oh, did he look... Oh, no. Behind did his he... mask? The, the mirror! Best. It's broken! Oh, but the mirror has never been broken this whole time. What does the broken mirror mean? He must have taken his mask off and seen what he looks like beneath it. Ah, if he'd just done as he was told! Ah, we have to find him! The best. Time to go. That's what. It's his scarf. He dropped it. Oh no! Uh, no looks like we are going the right way. Uh, come on. No, it just looks like any other intro. <laughs> Time to go. Cory Bear, Cory Bear, where are you? Curses! Forest Rangers! Hey! Who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Are you talking to him? Or have you seen us? a uh, hilly churl? A, a hilly churl should have uh, come past this way. <laughs> have you seen it? I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. I said, have you seen? A hilly churl! Well, I don't think she has any right to be interrogating us either. We're, we can't just be passing by. Hey, whoa! Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly! Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. You! You! Forest Ranger scum! You you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the Forest Rangers! Curse you all, Forest Rangers! Stop, I... Stop. Or the first rangers and I will have to make it. No, no, just stop. I, I don't want to do anything. Both sides calm down for now, thanks to your urging. I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. You. He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? So tell me, forest rangers. Did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez, you're really not gonna let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, <clears throat> use the toilet. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction. So I left it alone. That could well have been Carper. Oh, yes! Wonderful! <laughs> Wonderful! Let's let's go! Uh, we have to find him! Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info, goodbye? But that was also a weird exchange. Yeah. 
Kari Bear! We found him. Do we know for sure that Kari it's Bear, him? Bear, stop! It's me! It, it's Papa! Whatever you saw, it, it was... It was all a trick. An illusion. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Kari Bear, come back. It's time to go back. Kari Bear? He's not respond. He's relapsed. How could this happen? He regained his mind. He, he must be able to hear me. Surely. Come, Kari Bear. We have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Oh, sounds not right with him. What has that strange power done to him? Papa! Kari Bear! Papa, I can't take it! Please, Kari Bear! It's my fault! I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all... It's all too much! Papa! <sighs> <laughs> I see. I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> what happened? Did a faint? I remember Fairbairn taking off his mask, but then. Aha! Traveler! You're awake! Finally, we can rejoice together! Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. What do you mean, true identity? <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. But I've never met you. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case, I've been using a fake name this entire time. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. My real name is Clotar. Clotar Alberic. Mm. You can't be... You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us Sinner. It was one and the same. <laughs> yeah. I am positive now. It's the power of the Abyss, isn't it? Oh, at long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. Uh, so that was the part of Abyss, but there is still an Abyss Order, he was the one that started it, now. Uh, I didn't see clearly what happened to Carver. That is no business of yours! A sinner, yes. Salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Carver did not deserve his fate, but now... It's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the loom of fate. There's a term again, the loom of fate. You're right about this being from the abyss, but the abyss is sinister and dangerous. Huh? Sinister? Dangerous? Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the Abyss. How ridiculous! We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. 
to us, you were the abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead? Oh, Princess of Conria? Mm. Why did he just call me? while you were unconscious. I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? The founder of the Abyss Order, Alberich. What happened to you? You mean Clotar Alberich? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. Oh, okay, he's not necessarily Caius' father, but an ancestral. Because if after a hundred years he lost his mind, I don't think he would have left Caius. Like, the way he was. Uh, and despite that, my sister Jamaica sat with him, didn't she? You could say that. She wouldn't be the Abyss Order's princess otherwise. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, what happened? I have a start to tell you. Hmm. Your words saying this leaf. So thought? you saw her memories from centuries ago. Through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your sister never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment that she decided to go down this path? I also wish I could know what she thought about all this. Well, it's clear this was not a happy memory. Indeed. Clearly, this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This... was where it all began. Yes, I almost forgot. There's something I need to check. What is it? I need to know while I spurred in this field. The field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. For some time, you need to discover what is burning You scared the, the duke out of Paimon! <laughs> did, did you rebury them yet? If <laughs> we're done, you can open your eyes now. A male and female skeleton, buried together. 
Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later, and it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? I think that the bones of the men belong to Cloth or Aubrey. So he had more memories of the wars, should no doubt. Um, and yeah, there are no skeletons in this game. Almost every RPG like that I have. What? That's impossible. Unless Clotar Albury finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Perhaps indeed. I haven't tried chopping off your head. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think, and to search my memories for some missing pieces. We should part ways here. Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know? It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Who's he? You mean the void that I heard inside my head? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity, mm. but I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? It was just a memory. It all happened hundreds of years in the past. Do they line throughout to the future, too? I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? What is he? A sinner. All right, let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. There goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? Oh, but I want one more thing. Hmm? What is it? I missed you. Huh? Mother than him, and he was actually then her highest father. Okay, there's still those other quests, but uh, yeah, they'll probably take a little while to complete, so I'll do them some other day, but soon. Okay. Um, oh, hang on. Before leaving, let's try and that. Wow, I got a lot of those. Yay! Good. Ah, so I can try to sign them. Okay, I got plenty. I'm usually spending pretty much in every day, so. Okay, good. And now I'm out. <laughs>